morning children welcome to your social studies class in today's class we are going to start a new chapter from your social studies book that is chapter 9 the name of the chapter is houses we live in so in today's class we will discuss about the houses that we live in now children in your last chapter you learned that every animal needs a shelter to live like the birds live in nest the lions live in den the spider lives in web likewise the human beings also need a shelter at the very beginning of our civilization human used to live in den or on the branches of the trees then human learned to make huts and after that they learned to build the buildings and now we can see these buildings around us now children the question is why do we need this shelter we all need a shelter because a shelter will protect us from heat cold rain this shelter is called our house so house is the place that protects us from heat cold rain now the second point we feel safe and comfortable inside a house house gives us the feeling of safety and security we feel comfortable in the house so we live in house now what is home you would say that house and home are similar things they are but there is a little difference what is it home is where we live with our family home means that house where our family lives with us now we all lives with our parents we live in our home now house can be any building of shelter but home is the place where we live with our family this might be the place where one is born and brought up now with whom do you live in your home discuss with your parents now children look carefully at your house you can find at least one door in your house there must be a door in your house but why do we need a door we need a door to enter inside the house door lets us to go inside the house now you can also find windows you can also find windows in your house now why do we need windows 
windows let sunlight and air come inside our home or house so door and window are always found in a house now we walk on the floor we walk on the floor these are some of the parts of the house now we will talk about the different parts or rooms that we use inside the house let's look at the different rooms now we will talk about the different parts or different rooms that one can find inside a house the names of the different rooms are drawing room the second one is dining room the third one is bed room the fourth one is kitchen the fifth one is bath room and the sixth one is lawn now lawn is not actually a room this is an open area in front of the house now we have separated the house in the different rooms or parts in order to live happily and peacefully we have some of the rooms in our house we may not have all the rooms but some of them must be in your house you have to find out so children think carefully which rooms you have in your house now we will discuss the purposes of the different rooms all of them have different purposes we do not eat our meals in the bedroom we do not have our bath in the kitchen right so every room has their own purposes so we will discuss that the first one is the drawing room now what is the purpose of drawing room in a house in the drawing room we usually sit and chat with each other when a guest comes to our house he or she sits in the drawing room we usually keep the television set in the drawing room so this was about the drawing room now the dining room what do we do in the dining room we enjoy the meals of the day in the dining room we generally sit together and have our lunch or dinner or breakfast in the dining room so dining room is to have our meals now the third one that is bedroom now what do we do in the bedroom i think all of you know we sleep inside the bedroom now we have kitchen what do you do in the kitchen we cook the food inside the kitchen right now the bathroom what do we do in the bathroom we take our bath in the bathroom so you must have bedroom kitchen and bathroom in your house now the lawn lawn is an open area in front of the house we generally play in the lawn 
we also plant trees in the lawn now these were some of the rooms that one can find in a house now children we must remember that we must keep our house clean and tidy we should not keep our things here and there that will make our house dirty so always try to keep your house clean that will make you healthy so children this was all about houses we live in i will end my class here i hope all of you have understood the chapter now don't forget to read your book i will meet you in my next class till then take care